Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a few ways to make targets ready to be used in a move component of the HAL Robotics framework. We've already seen how to convert a curve into targets using the target from curves component. There are several other ways to make targets, however. The first is directly using a frame. I'm going to create a frame in Grasshopper by selecting a point and assigning that as the origin for an XY plane. If I hide those original components, you can see that we have a target now sitting on that point, and as we move the point around, the target moves with it. We can see that the target is pointing in the opposite direction, however, to the targets that we have from our curve. That's because we followed the exact orientation of the plane that was put in. There's a nice little trick that we've added, which is if you take a point and pass it directly into a target parameter rather than the target from frame component, you'll immediately get a target that's facing down. This is often useful when you're doing many tasks, such as drawing, milling, or any other task where your robot needs to be pointing downwards. The other way that we often need to create targets is from the actual positions of the robot. What I'm going to do here is bring up another target component, right click, and select from joint positions. Here we can see the inputs are slightly different. It asks for a mechanism, which in this case is going to be our assembled robot, and for a list of positions. These are going to be the positions of each joint uh, at this target, hence why we ask for the mechanism, to ensure that we have the right number of positions. I'm going to create myself a series of sliders that go from minus 180 to 180 degrees. This is, these aren't the limits of the joints, but are just easy numbers and cover most cases. I'm then going to merge all of these sliders into a single list and because we have the ability to use prismatic or rotary joints, we can't set the units on the position. Therefore, I'm going to convert these into radians, because the HAL Robotics framework uses SI units throughout. We can see here that as soon as I plug those positions in, we can visualize the robot in this target component. That's going to be useful to see where the robot's going to end up when we change its position with the position component. Those are four easy ways to create a target ready for the robot to move to.